The stationary bridges along the DNR Canal today are very unlike the original structures that span this transportation corridor when it was used for boat traffic. Unlike Pennsylvania's Delaware Division Canal, all the bridges crossing the DNR Canal were initially movable and gave the canal an advantage. There was no height restriction. Low-profile, mule-drawn canal boats, heavily built steam-powered vessels, elegant, tall-masted ships, and personal yachts were all able to navigate the corridor. The first bridges along the DNR were A-framed swing bridges. The support for this simple, well-designed timber bridge was built in the form of the letter A, giving the bridge its name. From the peak of the A support beams, cables were strung downward and anchored to the bridge's deck, a span that reached over 68 feet in length. Horse, wagon, carriage, and pedestrian traffic of all kind crossed the canal when in the closed position. A bridge tender employed by the canal company was responsible for a crossing location where he operated the swing bridge. This was done by hand with the aid of a bridge key or a wrench using a system of gears and cranks similar to the lift locks. The tender also monitored the tension in the supporting suspension cables to keep the bridge in good working order. He did this by regularly climbing the attached ladder to the apex of the A, where he could then inspect and tighten the cables as needed. Each tender was also provided with a house, which was located adjacent to the assigned bridge. This housing was part of the tender's salary. Adjacent to each bridge crossing was a small wood frame structure large enough to accommodate a few items, such as a chair, a table, lamp, and a small stove. This bridge tender station allowed the tenders some comfort as they waited for the sound of a boat horn or the blow of the conch shell that signaled the approach of an oncoming vessel. When heard, preparation to open the bridge began. A barricade halted the road traffic before the bridge gears put the well-balanced deck in motion. Slowly, the deck swung low across the waterway to the open position, parallel to the side of the canal, and cleared the path for oncoming boat traffic to proceed. Once through, the deck was then swung back across the canal into the closed position and road traffic could resume. The A-frame swing bridge served the DNR Canal well for over 80 years before being replaced in the early part of the 20th century with the stouter King Post style swing bridge, which was better suited to handle the weight of the automobile. As these new horseless carriages arrived and gained popularity in the 19-teens, the need to retire the A-frames grew more pressing. By the 1920s, all the A-frames were replaced by the more practical King Post style swing bridge. Although the DNR Canal closed as a transportation corridor in 1932, these second generation swing bridges remained a fixture along the canal until they too were removed and replaced in the early 1950s by the stationary bridges that you see in the park today.